aside from his trusty six-string, Elias doesn't seem like the type of guy that cares about earthly possessions or even about having a place to call home. The Brawling Balladeer debuted in NXT in late 2015 after a series of musical vignettes foretold of his arrival to town. With bruising antics and strength to spare, Elias made an immediate mark inside the yellow ropes, despite the vocal disapproval of the NXT universe. It was time for the strummer to roam elsewhere, however, after he came up short in a loser leaves NXT match against Cassius Ono in March 2017. Following his dismissal from NXT, Elias sauntered onto Raw, strolling through the locker room one week and on stage the next, always strumming his faithful guitar. At first glance, the dedicated musician appears cool calm, and collected, but Elias' adversaries are well aware that it doesn't take much to ignite. The fire that's burning just below the surface. Never one concerned with taking the high road or playing by the rules, this sinister songsmith has no qualms about targeting his opponents, with a mighty swing of his sixth string, especially if they have the nerve to interrupt one of his pre-match concerts. Since arriving on Team Red, the dangerous Elias has clashed with the likes of Titus Worldwide, and Jason Jordan, and the crooning superstar can even boast. A monumental victory over Finn Balor in a wild no-disqualification match on Monday Night Raw. Elias insulting songsmithing proves that he's not interested in mass appeal, but when he begins to croon in the middle of the ring, the WWE Universe has no choice but to walk with Elias. Already with several significant wins and an extensive catalogue of soothing melodies to his name. What will Elias do for an encore?